So you're interested in community and strategic planning. My name is Shane Barton and I coordinate the Community and Economic Development Initiative of Kentucky's downtown revitalization efforts as well as our community and strategic planning program. I hope this introduction can help you navigate how best to approach planning in your community. But first let's address the terms plan and planning. The plan is the product you'll have. It's the document that articulates how your community is going to shape the future. Planning is the process that results in the plan. It's how you get there. Planning involves people, information, ideas, analysis, strategy, and most certainly, and probably most important, commitment. A planning process provides you the space to explore all the options, agree on the facts, develop criteria for decision making, and find agreement on how best to navigate the future. It should examine both internal and external factors that's going to impact your community and outline the collective strategies to achieve your shared vision. Planning is a human-centered activity oriented towards future decision making. Planning is most successful, however, when it's inclusive and reflects the values of your entire community. Planning helps solidify and document a shared vision of where you are headed. The opposite of planning is simply directionless drift. Without future-looking planning or a plan, you're likely to get caught up in crisis management activities as opposed to creating long-term solutions. The goal of planning is to maximize the health, safety, and economic well-being and overall quality of life of all your residents in a way that reflects the unique needs, desires, and culture of all of your community. Planning provides members with choices. Consider your home, for example. Is it an apartment, a condo, a single family home, multifamily home, a mobile home? Do you get, how do you get around your community? Do you drive, do you walk, do you ride a bike? Is there even public transit available? Is there green space nearby? Planning helps ensure that you have these choices if you want them. It helps you decide and helps you articulate what is most important for your community. A community plan must meet the needs of its residents today, but also think about the future. A community plan is kind of a map or a blueprint, if you will, of where you aim to be. The next time you walk around your community, consider some basic questions. <clears throat> Who planned that? How was that decision made? What will happen to this neighborhood in the future? Planning considers ways to make your community safe and healthy for everyone of all ages and all abilities. Can you safely cross the street to get to your favorite shop? Can your grandparents? Beyond everyday risks, planning can also focus attention on larger hazards that may impact your community safety. Disasters such as floods, wildfires, they can devastate a community. Planning can examine the potential risks and imagine what can be done today before a disaster happens tomorrow. You can help minimize the risk caused in the future. High quality and intentional civic engagement often equates to an increased ownership and a commitment to the plan, especially when that shared vision is collectively created and communicated clearly and consistently. Let's remember, ownership matters. And ownership especially matters in decision making because it translates to a broader ownership of the plan because the people who are using it are the ones who created it. Prioritizing community and civic engagement to inform and affirm decisions made as a part of the planning process can illuminate the important roles individual stakeholders can play in seeing it through. Your planning process should bring to focus what matters most. Knowing what matters most and how to achieve it provides the rubric for your future decisions and resource allocation. Having a plan makes the future decisions easier. It makes it more efficient. Remember, those tough decisions will come. Planning processes involve data analysis. Having better data can equate to better decisions. Setting goals and choosing relevant metrics to track your progress means you'll always have meaningful data points to reference. This helps lead to faster and more efficient decisions. Data also helps you know when you've reached your desired outcomes. Change may be happening, but if you can't measure it, your insights are probably just antidotal. You have to know when you've achieved your success. There's no typical planning scenario because we strive to custom create a process that meets your unique needs. 
There are, however, three important things you need to consider before you embark on this journey. The first one, community and strategic planning often takes time and commitment to follow through. You shouldn't expect your plan to materialize after a meeting or two. The initial planning and community activities, they could unfold over numerous meetings in various spaces over months. And the plan implementation, that's ongoing and you have to be committed to the follow through. Number two, choosing the appropriate planning and engagement model is critical to your success. Before we can begin to articulate a strategy, we need to choose a framework that fits your needs and brings diverse voices to the table. Planning processes have the potential to elevate the many voices in your community. To be clear, our planning process relies on community input. Here's why. If community members believe they have a stake in the future and they've received an invitation to help create it, they become more engaged to achieve it. Making sure everybody has been heard and gaining consensus is a time consuming process, which brings me back to point one, planning takes time. Number three, choosing and analyzing the appropriate data underpins your future decision making. Data and analytics are an integral part of planning and strategic planning. While it may be tempting to use all of the available metrics, charts, graphs for every decision, doing so can be a detriment to your decision-making process. It's easy to find yourself drilling deeper and deeper into the data that perhaps isn't even needed. Focus on the right data and actions. The leadership team should focus on community-wide goals and progress, and your committees and small teams should focus on individual strategies and daily tasks that are helping to accomplish those goals. And one last point, probably the most important. Having a plan doesn't mean your community or organization will even execute it. Good planning is only half the battle. The lion's share of progress is in executing the plan. It's imperative to have a system in place that will measure and monitor your progress and hold people accountable as you work towards your goals in the implementation phase. With the right plan in place, the tools to support it, committed leadership, every community has a chance to see their plan come to life. In the next video, I'll dive a little deeper into the components of planning and provide some insights on how planning has changed over time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I uh, hope it gives you the introduction that you were looking for. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Have a great day.